happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So, I have a great idea. A lot of us are living that La Vida single life. <laughs> Does that even make sense? I'm not editing these. <laughs> rock on. So anyways, I have this awesome challenge for us for anyone who's single and wants to have a great Valentine's Day. It's called the self-love challenge. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to wake up in the morning and you're not going to give one shit about what anyone else is doing. A lot of people are going to trip out and want to know what everyone else got, who's loving who, all the Instagram bullshit that we know is all a facade. You know, they fight every day, right? They're fighting every day. Instagram is for the flex. Instagram isn't for the authentic. So we are choosing to be authentic this Valentine's Day. And we're going to do what makes us feel good. The first thing being sleep in. Yeah, if you can sleep in, sleep in. A lot of us don't live normal lives, conventional lives. A lot of people that are watching my videos definitely don't live a conventional life. Sleep your ass in. Yes. Let yourself sleep in and then have an extra cup of coffee because that's good and it feels good. It sounded like my door was open. Weird. So this is you having your extra cup of coffee tomorrow, right? Super amazing. And you're just loving yourself. And while you're loving yourself, you're going to grab your notebook. Uh-huh. Just like this. Your cute little notebook that I know you have. Do I have a pen? I have a pencil over here. <laughs> pencil pen. So you're going to have your handy dandy notebook and your handy dandy pencil. And you're going to write out an entire page of things that you love about yourself. An entire page. And then you're going to write over to the next page and you're going to write out an entire page of affirmations using what you just wrote about all the things you love about yourself. Are you catching on to what we're doing here? Today is all about you. So you don't need to look at your phone, see what so-and-so is doing. They don't exist because they're not in your space today. They're not on your focus. Therefore, they literally don't exist. You know, in TV shows, when people like, just are gone for like nine episodes and you don't know if they died or what happened and then suddenly you start thinking about them and they pop up the next episode yeah everyone in your life is like that so today no one's on any of your channels you can literally click through every channel on that television and you're just gonna find even hotter pictures of yourself than before that's right it's a selfie triage triage carousel what the fuck is that called i don't know what it's called it's you it's all you all day and that's the only thing that you're going to focus on it's how amazing you are today so back to your affirmations after you've compiled all of your amazing affirmations about how incredible you are gorgeous goddess soul god soul i don't know who's watching what's up no sex okay could be an alien like me <laughs> We're all aliens, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> Psych, Trump. <laughs> Don't flag my shit, you do. <laughs> Damn it, I'm not editing these. <laughs> so, after you've done your affirmations of how incredible you are, you are going to sit there like this, like so. Why are you focusing, camera? What are you focusing on? Can't focus awesome it's too much okay you just sit here in your mom's shirt with your big yummy ass coffee that you made for yourself and your affirmations and you are gonna say each one of these out loud and you're gonna feel it you're really gonna feel it you're gonna feel how much you love your new hair all right <laughs> looks amazing how much you love no nails because it feels so good to pick your nose. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> no, but really. <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> Help. 
And this isn't even coffee, it's tea. I lied. It's like two in the morning. <laughs> so, after you have read out loud to yourself all of these incredible affirmations, you're gonna flip the page. And you're gonna come over here and this is where it gets really fun. This is one of my favorite things in the world to do. I haven't done a video separately on this yet, so there will be another video about this somewhere else, maybe over here, I don't know, could be up there, who knows where it'll be later on. It's magic like that. But this is called scripting. Now, scripting has become one of the greatest things I've ever experienced in my life. Like I'm talking, I almost said better than chocolate. It's definitely not better than sex because I've been sexed up the right way, but like it's up there with those because you can create with scripting a room full of chocolate and sex if that's what you want. And since it's Valentine's Day, maybe this is the R-rated version. <laughs> we are going to script anything that we want. Now the trick to scripting, what is scripting? Hold on, let me slow down. Scripting is the art of, and I call it art because it really is an art, to, to be able to imagine things that A, haven't happened, or B, you may have never even experienced in your life at all, okay? Like, it's an art to be able to do that. Go ahead, go ahead, try it right now, try it right now, yeah. Oh, you've never experienced something? How do you know what to script? Exactly, slow down, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> There's always a loud student, sit down, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am the student, you are the teacher. <laughs> I learned from you. <laughs> so anyways, Scripting is the art of writing out your goals and like your aspirations as if they've already happened in the voice of gratitude. Okay, I've clearly thought about that. I've clearly said that a couple times. It's been a couple days, <laughs> but that's what scripting is. So basically, you know, the kid version is you're writing a bunch of bullshit <laughs> that you want to have happen that 99.9% .9 of the time Sally, Dick, and Bob are all telling you that you can't have because of the reality of what they see right there. We're going to get, well, no, I'm not going to do that. We're not going to talk about light fragmentation and no, we're not going to do that. You either have just to stop and like tell your guides no, like out loud. That's what just happened. <laughs> Save that for another video. Put it on the list. No, but really. So scripting. Back to scripting. Oh my God, I'm so annoying. I know. I love that about me. I'm so cool and annoying. While you boys were learning how to do woody wood shop things, we were in home ec learning how to be super annoying, and I aced that class. <laughs> okay, that's such an that's such an overplayed, uh, doesn't go with the the times joke, and also shows my age. Yeah. Okay. Scripting. The art of writing things out in the, uh, as if they've already happened in the art of, in, in a, the voice of gratitude. See, get myself all messed up. I'm not editing this, so you guys are getting this. Just like this. Awesome. So, uh, I know that Jake Ducey and his wife, Ashley, yeah, Ashley, I think her name is. Sorry if I'm wrong. They like to say, I am so grateful and thankful for. Um, when I discovered scripting, I was like, what is this? Everyone's talking about it, but no one is defining what it is. So I went on a little scripting binge on YouTube and watched everybody. And the people that have the most uh, videos about scripting is definitely Ashley Ducey and I think her husband, Jake. So um, anyways, uh, so we're going to take the time and our chill, wonderful energy. <laughs> Not zinging out or anything. And we're going to 
write out a story. The perfect Valentine's Day. Today I woke up, the sun was shining so bright. It was insane, because it's the middle of winter. It should be freezing. It was literally 80 degrees. I got to wear my favorite dress on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Show off my super tan body. I'm just gonna speak that one into existence. This one's gonna, this one's really gonna fuck you guys up because I am in Oregon right now and not going into any sun or sun-like substance to give me a tan. <laughs> so that will show you how strong we are as source creators. When you go on and you're like, whoa, she's tan. I spoke it into existence. <laughs> so anyways, back to our scripting. It was 80 degrees. Sun was out. I went to my favorite coffee shop. I don't know if you like Starbucks. I'm not going to assume. Hey, Starbucks. <laughs> and the man or woman, the person in line above me, paid for my coffee and the next two people behind me. So I didn't even need to do the next two people behind me because they were taken care of. So I simply left a tip, a really large tip, for the girl at the front. And you literally write every detail out. The girl's name at the front was Nancy. Nancy had a really bad attitude because she gained a lot of followers on Instagram and suddenly thought she was more important than her friends, but she'll wake up to it and she'll get over it. So back to our self-love story. Shout out to Nancy, by the way. Then we went to the store and we found a hundred dollar bill where we parked our car. And no one in sight, it was a ghost town because it was Valentine's Day and everyone was off paired up. <laughs> but I got paid for being single. <laughs> that one fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi's a Libra too, okay? I think it's just a Libra thing. It's not a Cardi thing, it's a Libra thing. Because <laughs> doesn't little Wayne do it and he's a Libra? Oh, off topic, sorry. <laughs> totally off topic. <laughs> Shout out to both y'all. <laughs> so... Then you're going to finish off your scripting. You literally, the more detailed you are in your scripting, the better. But hold on, it gets better. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I just did that. When you're scripting and you're thinking of these things, let yourself feel what it feels like. Like, oh, that $100 bill was fucking nice. <laughs> For me, <laughs> you you shouldn't have <laughs> but thank you okay <laughs> that feels great oh my free cop ah, coffee feels so much it is have you ever noticed that your coffee tastes better when it's free uh, what is it i don't is it made with love i don't you i don't know i don't know what it is but it's good right <laughs> so you're scripting everything and you're feeling everything you're feeling you and here's the, here's the kicker this is where i was fucking up when i wasn't scripting i wasn't visualizing myself in first person like i wasn't visualizing myself at all like i was just writing because i'm really good at writing i have an imagination bigger than any house okay bigger than this planet my imagination is ridiculous because i'm a source creator that's what we do but i've always had an imagination i've always been able to just write the craziest fucking stories and then i'd get bored and i'd leave them it just like would never if i went back and read all the stuff that i wrote i bet you a lot of it came true later on and I just never paid attention to it. I should try to find that stuff. I have no idea where it would be. Anyways, so you're scripting and you're feeling everything. Every single thing, you're letting yourself feel it. And then even more so, you're seeing it. You're visualizing it. You're seeing yourself <laughs> driving off on the... I don't know. Somebody bought me a car. That's great. I actually want a, a bus. <laughs> If anyone's going to buy me, can you please buy me a school bus so that I could drive? <laughs> it's like really easy to handle. Like that already has the big, if anyone's trying to marry me, I want a bus. I don't want to read. <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing my tarot cards and saying crazy things. I thought, I thought I'd put it out there. 
<laughs> and now I'm going to go back to the video. <laughs> Guys, I'm all over the place. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> because if you clicked on this self-love Valentine's Day, you might have been a little low when you clicked on this, you know? Because it's easy for us to get caught up in it. But fuck for February 14th. February 15th is when the shit pops off. That's when those chocolate dipped strawberries that Safeway has have to be fucking put on sale. <laughs> Otherwise, they lose their money. <laughs> yes! It's just actually not vegan. Actually, I'm going to manifest right now that it is, and I get to eat it. I'm still going back to Safeway tomorrow. <laughs> After Valentine's <laughs> Day. For the F off chocolate. So that's actually the best day. Like, Valentine's Day is just, whatever, it's total scam likely. <laughs> scam but february 15th is lit okay it's... that's also on on, on your self-love tour okay what you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna go to the safeway and get yourself some chocolate too <laughs> so after you felt and visualized everything that you want to script and now, if you've never scripted before, I would keep it, I wouldn't be like, I'm married with my husband if, like, you don't even have a dude. Because it's harder for you to trick your mind and believe that if there's no one in sight for you to be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm married. <laughs> like, you're like, me and my husband are really happy. Like, you just have to be a little realistic within your brain sequence and where you know your mind will be. If you're a master manifester, it's really easy to script things that are kind of far out. And you can do it. But it's it depends on you and your vibration. I've seen people be like, don't do it. Well, that's probably they're projecting onto you that not to do that because that's something that they can't do. So when someone tells you not to do something or you can't do it it's usually a basis and projection coming from them um and so like i even do it to people you know we're human that's what happens we, we want to protect people and all that but you just need to remember that if it doesn't resonate then it doesn't apply and that's leave it there that's all it is so if this video doesn't resonate and it doesn't apply leave it here you know <laughs> so when you're scripting you're visualizing things and uh, the best way to really start scripting is to like start small, you know, test yourself, tell, test how powerful you are in your manifestation abilities by writing out things and seeing the little things come to fruition and then allow yourself to write in bigger things. Like I'm manifesting a bus and a new dog and I am not going to talk about the rust because if I talk about it right now, I could possibly highlight things that I don't want. So if you're not in a mood or in a mode where you're capable to tell someone about your manifestation, don't talk about it either. It's a perfect example. So once you're done scripting, write out, it, I would say start with 10 things that you're thankful for. But since it's a self-love whole Valentine's Day, you want to do a full page. And do a full page because um, the attitude of gratitude is where you acquire more of instead of focusing on what you don't have which acquires more uh, of the less lesser uh, does that make sense I don't think that terminology is correct so this is a long video um, I'm not going to edit it I hope that you guys have a very, very happy, beautiful Valentine's Day. I hope that you take the time to do these things for yourself because they do matter. Um, if you meditate and you do yoga or you want to try yoga and you've never done any of those, I would suggest going to Boho Beautiful's YouTube page and checking out their yin yoga and doing that for like a month and then try one of her guided meditations she's probably the only person that i didn't want to throw my computer out the window with so <laughs> shout out to boho beautiful um, i'm totally a fan so uh there's no connection there other than them helping me when i was awakening so i hope they can help you too and uh, you know you guys your body is a soul or your your body is your vehicle for your soul so you want to make sure that you drive it well and uh i love you guys namaste